Hi guys, how you doing? It's uh, Thomas here. It's, uh, it's been about three weeks since I've did a, a video about my, my best friend. And uh, uh, I've been doing other things and uh, it's getting close to almost one year where he's passed away. Um, and I cataloged some, some good stories and, so, and it's things that we've done together. So uh, it's been good for me to to at least get this off my chest and to at least talk about him. Um, he has, um, we've done things together and, you know, it's, 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 it's been, we, you know, we, we have a good time. So this next story comes um, back in uh, 1985, I believe, 19, 1985, I believe. Yeah, 1985. Since it's uh, November and people are like having homecoming and all this sort of stuff, I can talk about this a couple of weeks ago, but homecoming happens. But uh, well, I was attending University of Maryland, and University of Maryland has have a, they have um, uh, a lot of events on campus. And one of the, the, the things that they like to do or have is big, one of the big shows is the step show where the black fraternities and the black sororities they would do uh, a step show um, uh, on um, dance steps um, I'm not sure if you guys are noticed or not if you ever went to, to HBCU or even other colleges with uh, some black uh, fraternities and sororities they do um, little routines using stepping and it's, uh, it's a big thing and people come from everywhere to see uh, this group step this group step and it's and it's a it's a rite of passage but also it's a way of bringing um, them together they call it the greeks well, the greek system but it's a way of uh, building camaraderie but there is a little challenge and you know and, and when i was in, in, in college we would say oh they, this they did this or they did that or oh, we've seen that before they ain't good well anyway um so um, Barry, he was uh, going to uh, an HBCU, and uh, that was at Coppin, I believe. And uh, he knows about Step Show, and he wanted to be a, uh, in one of the fraternities, and you know, and so. But um, he couldn't because he was working, um, and so. Uh, but he saw you know about Step Show, so I said, "Well, you know, come on down, and you know, we, you know, we'll have a good time, and you know, we'll, we'll chill out, and you know, we'll." You see the step show, and you know we, we, we just hang out. And so I said, okay. So um, I, he said, okay. But this is the week before. I said, okay, I'm, I'm gonna come down, and this is what the plan's gonna be. And I'm like, okay, yeah, yeah, all right, yeah. We're gonna be gonna make this a uh, uh, a thing. So I said, okay. So he said, well, the next week I got tickets all set up. I also um, got some food from the dining hall and you know I was I know he's probably gonna be hungry when he comes down because he's coming all the way from Baltimore so I said he'd probably be hungry so I, I got some food for him and and uh, you know I was just like all set to go and he said well I said well he said yeah I'll be down here between 3 30 4 o'clock I said okay all right fine so all right so my boy's coming down I got a little drinky drink in the in the, in the crib my roommate, he's gone for the uh, gone for the weekend, so so Barry can you know he can sleep over, over um, at our, at my crib, so we'd be cool. So I, so I said, okay, everything's all set up. So the um, Saturday comes, and I haven't heard from him, but I said that's okay because he knows he's coming. Know he's coming down to four four thirty, so everything is cool, you know. So I went around my thing, made sure everything's double checked, got the tickets, you know. To, talk to the boys on the on the hall you know i said okay yeah i'll see you guys over there you know we're gonna we're gonna do this that and the other i said okay all right so i'm all hyped up 4 30 arrives okay and this was before cell phones only thing we had uh, was you know, you pull over to the side of the road you make a phone call um cellular phones weren't as popular as they are today and if they were i would have been i would have had one anyway uh, 4 30 arrives he's not there i said okay no problem you know probably traffic you know because it's a busy weekend you know plus there's a football game i said okay no problem nothing they, the the um the step show doesn't click, click off until seven o'clock i said okay we good we good all right so 
5 o'clock. So, okay, no problem. 5.30 comes. I'm starting to get a little worried. I said, well, okay, my boy hadn't called in yet. You know, so I said, okay, all right. Uh, so I don't know what's going on. So, you know, I'm starting to get a little worried, but I can't call him because there's no cell phones. So I said, okay, all right, all right. I'm, I'm going to call myself. Woosa, woosa. I know he's coming. He's never let me down. So uh, 5.30 becomes 6.30. Where's he at? I'm like, where's he at? I'm worried sick now because he's supposed to be here at this time. He's already two and a half hours late. And I didn't want to miss the beginning of the step show because you got to get a seat. You got to get a good seat. Okay. <laughs> so I was like, come on, man. Where you at? So, um, and so I waited and I said, okay. So I ran into a friend of mine and he's not, I said, I said, I said, John, are you going anywhere? I said, no, I have a, I have a, there's a guy coming for me. Um, he's, his name is Barry and he's, he's going to be, uh, coming, uh, for the step show, but I got to go to get seats for us. So, uh, so if, if, the, if the tickets come, if he comes here, okay, give him this ticket so he can get into the, to the step show and then, uh, tell him to go over to, to the union and then I'll see him over at the, uh, at the union. And I just see him at the union. Okay. So. So I hot footed over across campus to uh, to Union Student Union. Actually, it was in uh, Coalfield House. So I went over to Coalfield House. So I'm, I got a seat and all that kind of stuff. So I see, and and he never shows up. So he, he never showed up. So I'm gonna go. So after the show, chef, it's like eleven thirty, and I get there, and he said, hey, John comes like he said, hey, here's your ticket. And the guy didn't showed up. I'm pissed. I'm pissed. Like, what the freak are you at? Okay. And I didn't have cell phone number <laughs> before cell phones. And uh, so uh, I called the next morning and his, um, I think I called his mother. Uh, I think I might've did. Um, and she says that he's not there or something to the effect or or she said that he's not here uh, so i don't know what happened so i'm like okay what the hell's going on so so uh, through a whole week that, that was sunday so then i finally get in touch with him on thursday okay i'm like yo what the freak happened to you i mean i was expecting you to come here you know and and I'm like, oh, what, what, what are you going to do? I mean, because I, because I, we made this plan about a week ago saying, uh, yeah, you're going to be down here. We're going to do this, that, and the other. I said, oh, yeah, okay, good. So I'm all hyped up. So what is your excuse? I, I'm, I'm out for blood now. I'm out for blood. I, I'm going to cut him. <laughs> I didn't really mean this, though, but I'm giving him a hard time because, you know, that's my boy. But, you know, he, 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 he messed me up, okay? So he says, um, oh, man, I'm sorry about that, man. I for completely forgot. You forgot? How do you forget? Okay. Well, what happened was <laughs> Terry, his uh, girlfriend at the time, uh, she came in from, uh, she's going to uh, an HBCU uh, Hampton. And she came in from out of town, so I was hanging out with her. You go. <laughs> I said, okay, all right, I understand. I understand because you know you you try to get some booty, all right. <laughs> I say, okay, all right, all right, but that still don't negate the money you owe me for my ticket. Okay, the ticket was like thirteen dollars. Said, okay, all right, I understand. All right, so what you so all right, I'm not gonna be mad at you, but I do want you to give me the thirteen dollars for the ticket because I had to purchase for your stupid behind. I said, okay, no problem, man. I got you. I got you. I said, okay. All right. But, you know, I, I was pissed at him. But then again, I understand the reason why. Because he was with his girl. And I had to understand that. And that was something that um, that was I had to program. And I had to bring my anger down a little bit. And it was a learning experience. Um, the first thing that I learned about that experience is, uh, uh, 
uh, th that we're human and that we have other things on our agenda. Although you think something is important to you, somebody else might have uh, another alter uh, another agenda. Secondly, uh, don't get in the way of booty. Don't be. <laughs> Yeah, but but you know he was trying to build a relationship with this girl, but it, it blew up. But anyway, um, so um, you know, and secondly, you know, just give people a chance, um, you know. And we never spoke about it again. Uh, he gave me the money, and you know, I was like, you know, um, but I didn't hound him about it. You know, he he paid me, paid me, he didn't he? Didn't but you know. Uh, but I learned a lesson from that from that story. Um, so the moral story is don't be chasing booty. <laughs> oh man. Anyway, um, no. But in reality, though, it was it was a good experience, and uh, um, and I wish we had cell phones, but cell phones didn't exist at that time. But it is what it is. Now you know uh, it would have played out completely different. Now I would have called him before <coughs> this whole thing happened we would have called me to let me know that he got some tail coming in <laughs> anyway yeah but it was a it was a learning experience in college it's a learning experience and you know how you relate to people so um i i did grow from that experience uh, and uh i wonder if he did too uh, i don't know if he did or not um um with him and his relationship with the secondary, um, you know, I, that was not my forte to find out exactly how they broke up or what other issues they had because that was not my business. Um, I'm dealing with him, I'm not dealing with his relationships, and I've never done that because that's not my business. <coughs> Excuse me. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the story. Um, I'm just going to be 100% so um, telling you about you know what was going on and, and how that whole thing situated you know how it happened and um you know it was an experience uh from a, a young adult at that time uh, and, and how i dealt with that situation and how he dealt with the situation and how we both um dealt with the situation together moving forward um so moving forward <laughs> he didn't go to any more i would not go to that. <laughs> He was not going to any more step shows. I <laughs> say your ticket has been punched, son. <laughs> no, you're not. You no, you're, you're not going. But <laughs> anyway, you guys take care. All right, bye bye.